Thanks, Trevor. Uh, and now, what I think most of you have been waiting for. <laughs> it's my distinct pleasure to introduce Angelina Jolie. While most of you know her as an Oscar award-winning actress, she's also been working with refugees all over the world as a Goodwill Ambassador. In fact, it's my guess that she has been to more refugee camps and seen more children in distress than not only most of the members of Congress, but than most of us advocates working on this issue. So with that experience, I'm really glad that she is choosing to be a powerful voice for orphans and vulnerable children around the world. And I look forward to hearing her remarks today. Thank you. Thank you very much. First time, I'm so happy to be here today to celebrate the passage of this very important legislation to help orphans and other vulnerable children. I want to thank Congressman Henry Hyde, Congresswoman Barbara Lee, Senator Luger, Senator Barbara Boxer, everyone here today, and also Congressman Jim McDermott for your work for so long on these issues. Thank you. And for teaching me. You've, you've taught me some things when we've spoken in private, and, and I really appreciate your knowledge. Um, I also want to recognize and thank the religious leaders, students, and grassroots activists across the country who have helped to ensure that Congress does give this the attention it deserves. So thank you all for pushing. With over 40 million people around the world now infected with AIDS, every 14 seconds a child becomes orphaned. Recently this issue became very personal to me. My daughter Zahara was orphaned because of AIDS. She's one of one million children in Ethiopia that are orphaned by AIDS. So I don't have to tell you how precious I think these children are. And by fully funding this legislation, we would be saying to the world that we believe that the life of a child in the poorest country is just as important, just as valuable, as the lives of the children in the United States. Now, I am still trying to understand this very complicated world that is Washington. So <laughs> when I was told that there was an orphan bill being passed, I said, the great, where is the money coming from? And, uh, you know, is it sufficient? What is it? And they said, no, 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 no. First, first everyone decides that it's important, and then later they figure out how to fund it. And I said, oh, okay. So, <laughs> so that's where we're at now. <laughs> everyone has agreed that this is important, and it is important to help these vulnerable children. So. Will we? Will we really? Will we see it through? Will Congress and the administration put enough money forward to make a substantial difference in the lives of these kids? Or will we talk about it for a very long time and then maybe come up with a part of the money but not the whole thing? I hope not. The legislation we celebrate today promises the possibility of assistance so that millions of orphans around the world have access to basic medical and a chance to go to school, two things that every child deserves. Universal education is vital. New medicines are giving children with AIDS a chance at life. So what are they supposed to do with that life? Sit idle? Most of them have lost their parents to AIDS and they're trying to raise themselves, they're trying to feed themselves, and now they have to send themselves to school. We must eliminate school fees. They are, the, they are the future of our country, of our world. If they are educated as adults, there will be more stability in their countries. There will be less violence, less teen pregnancy, and less HIV. Fact. If they are educated. America has the opportunity to lead the world in addressing the AIDS orphan crisis. By giving orphans and other vulnerable children the priority they deserve, we can literally transform their lives. We all know we should do this. I hope that we will. So thank you again to members of Congress for being here, for your leadership on this groundbreaking legislation. And on behalf of all the orphan children and vulnerable children, thank you very much. And thank all of you for being here to support this day and, and to acknowledge it and to help us bring all of this information to the world. Thank you. Thank you for all you're doing.